Hello, this is Shane McCabe down here at Nissan of Cookville giving you a quick walk around video on this 2017 Hyundai Tucson in this beautiful blue color. Um, it stands out. If you come on here and look at the at the lot and wanted to see the, one of the few cars that stands out a ton, this one here would be one of them. Um, this color is absolutely beautiful. Um, just want to start off by showing you the tires here. Really good tread on those. Nice face. Doesn't look like it's been curved or anything of that nature. You do have the vent visors here as well, which is really, really nice. And then coming through, looking at this side, um, I don't even have anything to point out for you for dense scratches and dings, so this will probably end up being a pretty quick video. Uh, but wanted to show you here on these tires, really good tread, nice face there. And then coming over to the front of the vehicle, really shows off the aesthetic of these and really makes that blue pop a ton. Having all these different colors going through just really accentuates it a lot. Um, something I see on a lot of vehicles lately is stone chips on the hoods of the vehicles. Um, I have found one spot right here. Otherwise, I would say this is nearly perfect, which for being a 2017 with almost 100,000 miles on it, for it to have almost no cosmetic issues at all is fantastic, especially in today's market right now. Um, this tire here, I would almost say, short of looking it up, that we put new tires on this vehicle, so having that as an additional benefit is absolutely huge. Um, looking it over on this side, again, don't have much to talk about. I don't see any scratches, dents, stings, anything of that nature. And then this tire here, these have to be brand new ones. This has a ton of tread on them there. Nice face on that rim there. And then on the back, I'm gonna pop this up to show you the inside. So as I pop this up, I'll show you here, you got the backup camera. And then a pretty good size and space here in the back as well. Um, you do have this Tucson floor mat. And then if we pull this up, you can see you have your spare tire, um, which is nice because a lot of manufacturers nowadays are doing those inflate kits, which is a great idea until you need a full uh, blowout happens or something of that nature, then it's a little bit of a pain because you can't reinflate if it's fully blown out. So knowing that you have a spare tire is absolutely awesome. Here you do have a power uh, window for both sides in the back seats. And then these seats are in super good condition here as well. A um, couple little things here, but probably could be taken out through detail. And then just show you on through there. Now, one thing I will say is I, I am a cigarette smoker, but I do smell a little hint of a smoke in here. It is not terrible by any means, but I, I like to be upfront about everything that I can be. And I do smell a little bit of that in here. Um, otherwise, you have power locks, windows, mirrors, everything right here on this door. A brightness and a dim for the dash. Traction control right there to turn that on or off. Um, adjustable seat. This one cranks up and forward, down and backwards. This one's a recline. And you have the bar that's underneath to slide forward and backwards. This is a tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Pull this down, goes up, down, in and out. So that in conjunction with the seat should allow you to get pretty dang comfortable in this vehicle. And let me hop in here, show you a couple things. So on the steering wheel, you can see here you got a couple different bits, um, volume up and down, seek and scan, uh, answer a call, end a call, voice recognition. So you can hit this and say like tune to 104.1, it'll change the radio. Or if I was in your phone as Shane the sales guy, hit that and say call Shane the sales guy. It'll call me right from there, which is really cool. Um, mode is going to switch it between AM, FM, Bluetooth, Sirius, so on and so forth from there. This one right here is going to change between the screens up over here just to give you little bits of information that you might need. Turn on cruise with this one here, set it through here, and then uh, this one here is just going to go through different uh, screens when there's an up and down menu on any of those screens you get into. Um, for the backup camera, put it in reverse, show you that there, give you a good idea of what that looks like. Gear shift is pretty standard, just pull it back to drive just like any other vehicle. Pull it over here to your leg, you can push it forward to upshift, backwards to downshift. If you don't know what gear you should be in, just pop it back over to drive. It'll put you in whatever gear it needs to be in from there. You do have a USB port there to charge your phone, as well as two cigarette adapters there, and an auxiliary port to play music as well. Um, two cup holders there, pretty decent sized middle console there. This seat here is in really good shape as well. And then round this off with the glove box there, pretty good size as well. So I hope this answered a lot of your questions. If you do find you have any additional questions, please feel free to let me know and I'd be happy to either come out and make a little bit more of an in-depth video for you um, or answer any questions that I can over the phone, text, or email. Um, otherwise, hopefully we see you down here shortly to take this thing for a test drive. Thank you.